I say clarity at first. Okay, so we're gonna learn French horn. Okay, <laughs> it's okay, you can be normal, it's just my professor. Okay, so sit straight in your chair. And when you play, you're gonna want any instrument, you're gonna wanna sit at the front half of your chair. Front half of your chair, back straight up, put your chest kind of up so whenever you breathe, you have a lot of space to breathe, right? And so I just, we got the mirror set up there for you so you can kind of see yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Does everything look okay? <laughs> it's just Dr. Woody. That's his name, Dr. Woody. Okay? okay make you feel better? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, we are going to first talk about how to get a sound on the instrument. And the main way to do that is to start blowing on the mouthpiece. That way you know what's gonna, what you're going to feel like, okay? So you're going to put your lips together like you're making a mmm sound. Mmm. Mm. And you're going to put the mouthpiece on. And with French horn, it's going to be angled a little bit. So it's going to push more on your bottom lip than it is your top lip. Because that's how the instrument's going to sit. And we'll get to that later, okay? So lips together like a mmm. We're going to blow air straight through it like we're blowing through a straw. And we're just going to make what's called a buzz. So listen, ready? Oh. Mine kind of moves partials. And it sounds funny, but go ahead, try it. So lips together. Yeah, close. So you just need to push put, push more air so that you get a consistent buzz the whole way through. Yeah, so just try more for the... Close. Don't puff your cheeks out right at the end. Try one more time. Try taking a bigger breath in, so... It's close. You see I was like stopping and starting. So we just want to get a continuous buzz the whole way through. Okay? So that's called a buzz and this is called a mouthpiece. Just words to remember when you play. Okay. Now we're going to talk about how to hold the instrument before we can make a good sound. Because before we can make a good sound, we have to learn how to hold it correctly. So for you, the French, and for me, the French horn actually sits a little bit off of my, my body. So that way when I play, I'm not like this because, you know, a band director's not going to want to see that. So it's okay if the bell rests on your thigh, but the rest of it, it's the bell's not supposed to be blocked and it's supposed to be up so you can play easily, okay? Your hand is gonna go, you're gonna take your, the bridge of your hand, like where the knuckles hit, right there, and you're gonna rest it on the inside farthest corner from the horn, okay? So just go ahead and try that, see what it feels like. Yeah, right there, but you're gonna wanna push it a little bit more, okay? And this helps with like tuning and stuff to make sure the instrument sounds the way it needs to sound, right? Okay, and then your right hand, your thumb is gonna go in this brace, your hand's gonna wrap around it and hold like a C. Because if you play flat, they're not gonna move quite as fast. But if you play C, they're gonna go really quick. Does that make sense? So, thumb's gonna go in, first finger, second finger, third finger, easy. And then thumb's gonna hold it so you can hold it in place. You're gonna go ahead and try it? Okay, so remember what we said. Left hand's easy to get situated first. Right hand. And see how when, you, when you're playing it right now, you're like bending down a little bit? So make sure this rests like that. <laughs> see how it gets your chest up to where you can play? Make sense? Okay. Don't play a sound yet. <laughs> so the whole thing, now when, when we start playing sounds, it's the same thing about, like as when we did a buzz with the mouthpiece, we want to blow air straight through. Even though it's like a big curly instrument, it's gonna, air's gonna go straight through it the whole way through. <coughs> I keep saying through. <laughs> so we can get a good sound, okay? So here, I'll play the sound first, and then you can try. So, hand's gonna go on the outer corner, instrument's gonna be on my thigh, my chest is gonna be up so I can play really well, and I'm gonna take a big breath in the corners of my mouth. Does that make sense? Fill my lungs up all the way. I just play it down. Make sense? Okay, you wanna try it? Okay, get your left hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, your right hand's gonna be on the outside corner. Big breath. It's okay if the bell wraps kind of like around you, you know, because you're playing out like this, your head's all turned. So it's okay if it wraps around you. Basically, the way to think about it, yeah, sit straight in your chair, 
and put the instrument, like work with the mouthpiece and then the instrument will just find where it needs to go, okay? So get the mouthpiece where it needs to be. See how it wraps around you? Like that's totally okay. Maybe it needs to go down a little bit. Keep your chin up. And this can, the, the horn can angle down. Remember I said it needs to come up a little bit? Okay, try. Yeah! That's awesome! That's a really good sound. Okay. What are we going to do next? Okay, so do... We're going to do like a quick review really quick. Alright? So what part is this? Uh-huh. And what's the name of the thing that we do on this? With our lips, we make the buzz. Okay. Where does your right hand go in the bell? Uh, the left corner? The outside corner? Yeah. Yeah. And what part of your hand touches the... My knuckles? Your knuckles. Good job. Okay, now show me left hand position. Where does your left hand going to go? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Good job. Okay, so the whole... The objective of the whole lesson is to learn how to play from a C, D, E, F, G. Right? So C, D, E, F, G. Five notes. Basically kind of like a little bit of a scale. And um, we got to learn fingerings for that first, right? So super, super easy. C is open. D is one. E is open. F is one. G is open. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. And the way that that's going to work is you're going to go up what are called partials, and those are how fast your lips are vibrating. So the faster that your lips vibrate, the higher the partial, the higher the note you're going to get out. Does that make sense? So C sounds like this. But I need to play right so you can play right. So what you're going to learn how to do, hopefully, if I'm a good teacher, <laughs> so you're going to do this. That makes sense? So were you watching? So I'm going to do it again. Now watch my lips. Because that's how... Your lips kind of, but it's more of like how fast your air is going is what's going to make your partial go up. How you're going to get to different partials. So watch my lips. And my corners are going to stay planted, but my this part of my lips is going to move just a little bit. And what that feels like for me is my stomach's just tightening as I push more air. So that's where it's going to come in handy when you sit straight up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So try just getting the open C. So get a note pretty much as low as you can get it. And all you have to do is think low. That's it. That's a C. Okay, so now put the instrument up to your face and just play a C instead of going. You're, going <laughs> you're pushing more air. You're like tensing up and that's how you're going higher. So just go lower. Think low, think low, think low. Here. Yeah, this is what it's supposed to sound. Okay. Where you were was right here. You just have to like drop the front part of your tongue. Does that make sense? Because what's going to get you higher is the the back part of your tongue is going to be used. So it's all about okay. Look, it's all about airspeed. So when you have a low tongue, your air your your air is just going to like flow over it, right? Or I guess your air is going to go this way. So this is your tongue. This is the front part of your tongue which you articulate with, which we're not going to even talk about today. When your tongue's real low, the air is going to go right over it. When you raise the back of your tongue, the air is going to move faster. It's like a car going over a hill. You know, it's going to come quick on the down. So when you go higher partials, you want the back of your tongue to kind of be raised more, but not a lot. You don't want to cut off your airstream. You just want to make it go quicker. So when I go low, my air goes, my tongue goes low. <laughs> The back of my tongue, all that's changing is the back of my tongue is going higher. Makes yeah. sense? Yeah? Okay. So try and get the low C out, which is open, and we got a low tongue, hands in the right position. 
It's okay if the instrument wraps a little bit. Look at yourself in the mirror. Try it. One more. <laughs> Do you have any questions on how to get lower? No. No? Try getting the low note one more time. And if we can't, we'll adjust our lesson plan. That's it. Okay. Ah! That's good! That's awesome! So the note that you're going from, the high note is an E. The low note is a C. So what note is in between E and C? F. What? <laughs> D. D. Good job. So the whole fingering was open one, open one, open one, open like all that way back through. So if C is open and E is open, what has to be D? One finger, right? So C, D, E sounds like. Make sense? Think you can do that? Face mirror. Deep breath. Let the instrument wrap just a little bit. You got it. You can, it's funny playing in front of a mirror, right? Mm -hmm. But it helps, I promise. Dr. Woody swears. No, open. Ah, see, you went back down, so your air needs, your tongue needs to raise just a little bit. So make sure you sit up straight and face forward. Try it again. You can do it. I know you can do it. Okay. Just play your C. Wrap the intro. There you go. That's it. That's good. Your air is just a little wobbly because you're not confident and you're like pulling and pushing your air trying to get the right note out. Okay? So just be confident. Got it? You want to try again? <laughs> Here, let me get the notes in your head just one more time and then I just hit the instrument. I'm supposed to do that. Okay, ready? See, I can't even do it. through a smaller straw. Make sense? The higher you go. I gotta stop hitting this instrument. Wrap the instrument. Hold on. One moment. I'm just saying bye. I'm leaving. I just wanted to uh, stay out before I left. Can you give me 30 seconds? To Wrap up? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's kick it off. 